live news show is challenging. So when events move quickly, you need to make sure you have the facts. And that's where experience counts. And having a global view gives you another perspective. I love the pressure of being live. I feel like we're doing a job that matters. You're live with Lucy Hawkins on BBC World News. It's important uh, for us to not only invest in digital transformation, but also to transform the physical network, leveraging data as well as technology to enable a more seamless on to offline banking. And this is what we call omnichannel banking. We want to diversify towards those sectors that uh, we feel both that they are they have the right potential if we mention just one for for a start like the agriculture sector where angola has 35 million hectares of uh, arable land and out of those only 15 percent have been in use so some of the big challenges we face over the last couple of years have highlighted inherent weaknesses in supply chains and our priorities are working together with customers leveraging technology to improve visibility uh, resilience and sustainability of supply chains around the globe. Hello there, you're watching BBC News. I'm Rich Preston, our top stories. Chaos and confusion as Kenya's Deputy President William Ruto is declared the winner of last week's presidential election, but claims a vote rigging over the result. There is no room for vengeance. There is no room for looking back. We are looking into the future. Donald Trump's former lawyer Rudy Giuliani is told by US prosecutors he's a target of their criminal investigation into attempts to overturn the presidential election result. The Taliban celebrate the first anniversary of their return to power in Afghanistan, but the picture remains bleak for women and girls. One big thing among others that challenges the more moderate image they're trying to portray is the restrictions they've imposed on women. The fact that they haven't allowed girls to go to secondary schools in most of Afghanistan, the only country in the world to do so. The UK becomes the first country to approve a COVID vaccine that fights both the original strain and the Omicron variant. And checkmate with the difference, how underwater chess is helping competitors stay cool in the hot weather. Hello and welcome to our viewers on PBS in the United States and around the world. We begin in East Africa, where Kenya's Deputy President William Ruto has been declared the winner of last week's presidential election, but amid scenes of chaos and confusion. The head of the Electoral Authority was briefly prevented from declaring the results as scuffles broke out at the vote tallying centre in the capital, Nairobi. He said Mr Ruto got just over 50% of the votes, narrowly ahead of the opposition leader, Raila Odinga. Gareth Barlow has this report. <laughs> 